Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Dom here with Still Nice CNC, and today I have a shop upgrade for you. A very important safety shop update, so you might want to stick around to see what I'm going to do. So let's jump into this. This is a pressurized vessel, and there has been accidents where these have exploded, and hopefully not killed anybody, but has exploded. So how do you minimize the... Um, the buildup of pressure or water on the inside of your machines. I live in a climate that has a relatively around here in the shop when the door is closed, it's about 80% 80, 80 humidity inside the shop. I leave this thing on pretty much all the time. I do not drain it at the end of the day, which I should be doing, but I'm a little lazy. So what we're gonna do is install an automatic timer that blast air out for a certain amount of time to make sure there's no water vapor buildup. And I do have here a secondary, but you gotta remember, as it's sucking air through the system here, water sits down here, it eventually comes up and gets into the lines and gets into the rest of your system. So how do we prevent that? Well, you're gonna have to have a controller just like this right here, where you can fine tune the uh, minutes and how many seconds this blast will go off for now because i live in austria uh they do have american standard pipe threads but it's hard to find if you're not at the right store and i'm at a big store uh they just don't have the equipment that i need so how to get a reducer on top of a reducer on top of a coupling on top of the elbows but you're gonna watch me put this thing together so let's go all right so this is what i got going on right here i have a double pipe nipple that's one fourth of an inch that will go into a uh i forgot what this is called an internal and external thread internal one fourth of a millimeter to three eighths unfortunately i couldn't find anything that was half inch to one fourth but nonetheless what we're gonna do is um all right so i'm gonna use uh some pipe lock or thread lock and you probably could do this with uh, just regular um, pipe tape but uh, I really don't feel like going through all the trouble of trying to find where my pipe tape is right now but I do have thread lock on hand because this will not be coming back off so what I have here is a one-fourth to one-fourth nipple pipe nipple I'm just gonna squirt a little bit on That goes internally like this into the three eighths. So three eighths will go into the half inch, three eighths. So we're gonna go ahead and put some more liquid on. Now I probably hear people screaming already in the comment section below. Uh, I just decided to do it like this, all right? So, just make sure that's tight. Okay, the next thing is uh, to go from a half inch, or yeah, half inch to a half inch coupling. Same thing, put some uh, liquid thread sealer on there. That probably should actually be enough. More than enough. And this will then go onto the elbow like this. So let's go ahead and put this onto the elbow. Uh, as far as I'm uh, understanding is uh, brass pipe they normally have a mating and interlocking surface where you don't have to put uh, tape on, but I've experienced, uh, because a lot of our stuff comes from China now, that it's no longer a standard anymore. They just make it to make it in production. Anyway, so let's go over to the compressor, release the air, and then uh, let's continue on. 
All right, so as the air is leasing from the compressor right now, because it's actually all the way full, I just want to let you know something. When you get this piece in the mail, I will leave a description for the Europeans side and also a dot com is American normally or North America, but I'll leave a description below where I found this at. Uh, that way you can hook it up to your compressor so you don't have any workshop accidents. And especially if uh, you happen to be even like maybe three meters from that, the pressure alone could probably rip your skin off. So I would highly recommend that if you live in a moisturized environment, I would say above maybe 20 to 30% humidity, put one of these bad boys on or just or just release the air pressure at the end of the day when you're done working. But nonetheless, I had to wire this myself. If you're not into messing with electrical uh, components, then have a uh, certified electrician do it. But this here, you have to take this off. Then this becomes like a plug on the back of this, um, uh, pretty much almost like a relay kind of. But it tells you on the back of this here, when you get down inside, that uh, wh where's ground and where's your two uh, AC input output um, connection. So I already went ahead and re uh, wired this up. So anyways, as this is draining, uh, yeah. All right, so as the rest of the air is draining out of this machine, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just undo that one. Open the valve all the way. Pull her forward like that. And just gently set her on her back. For me, it's the back of the motor because that's, that's all I got. And I don't think it's gonna hurt it. But nonetheless, we have to take this um, pressure or drain valve out and then we're gonna put in the other one. All right, so I'm just gonna unscrew this like so. So the reason why I'm making this upgrade is because I recently seen a video of one of these exploding and the guy is luckily, lucky not to be in the uh, vicinity when it happened. But uh, what we're gonna do now is just put on a little bit of threading glue here. A little bit too much. Let's see if we can't turn this around one more time. Maybe all of them, I don't know yet. We'll see what we can get out of this because It's got to go to the front. Uh, probably something like that coming off the side because I got to make sure I have enough room uh, for the piece to come out. All right, so next up is this pipe nipple here, long pipe nipple. Just like that. And what we're gonna do now is just, before I even put this on, like with the pipe threading, we're just going to see how it looks when I uh, put this on here. So. So 
So that's what it looks like, a 3-8 nipple, or excuse me, a 1-4 nipple to a uh, inside 1-4 to an outside 3-8 to a 3-8 uh, to a half inch, half inch coupling to a half inch, half inch, because this was half inch. So I had to get everything half inch, but this is the reduced part here. Uh, if you guys are in America, it's probably easier to find this stuff at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, where you don't need all this, you probably could find a half inch to a a uh, quarter. But nonetheless, this is how it's going to look. And that's where the water comes out. Later on, we'll, uh, it will have a um, like just a little hose. That way I can contain the water so it's not shooting everywhere. But anyways, let's give it a shot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip her back over. So, and that should be good. First off, we're gonna just go ahead and remove this towel because that was my towel for uh, making sure it doesn't get all over the concrete. I'm gonna push this bad boy back in. Hook the hose back up. I shortened the hose from the other one and I made this hose myself. Well, not made the hose, but I cut the hose the length myself. So that goes like that. And now what we're gonna do is run a, for now, this is only temporary, this stuff here. Uh, extension block, put in this here. Plug this in here. You already heard it kicked on. That was the uh, the timer at the bottom. All right, so as we pull this up, it's gonna fill. All right, so here's the timer. You can set it between uh, less than a half a minute to 45 minutes and for how long. So if I do it like this, it's gonna kick on for 10 seconds. You could do it for however you want. I'm gonna just leave it at 10, and then I'm gonna do it every like 10 minutes. And we're gonna see it kick on again one more time. All right, well there you have it still nights. Uh, the upgrade is complete. I feel a lot more safer with the automatic system in drainage system. I'll leave a link in the comment below like I promised. And if you haven't seen the other video on the silent air compressor or installing a dryer system, make sure you watch that. Ah, ah, I love how quiet that is. It is very low. It's like a humming noise to my ears right now compared to the red one that's over here. But nonetheless, I have high humidity here in Austria. It's currently raining right now. So uh, door is open, 64% humidity. Um, that's all I got. If you guys found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and be sure to leave a comment on your thoughts on what you would do with your air compressor in your workspace like this, or an industrial shop. Until next time.